Okay, the thing that most people are missing when they're looking at all the different printers on the market is that if you're gonna do a walk-in basement or you're gonna build on a lot that isn't perfectly level, you've got the other printers have to be set up perfectly level. Most of the circle printers on the market, uh, they have their column and then they have their gantry that comes off the column. Uh, from center of column, to the closest that the gantry will print. If you go look at their websites, they'll tell you how big they can print, but they won't tell you how small they can print. That's seven feet here. As that rotates around, that's seven feet here. That's 14 feet. The width is four feet. They can't even go through a regular 3-0 door. Uh, most hallways, okay, uh, are three, four feet. They can't print hallways. You couldn't print inside of a bathroom uh, because the gantry will not get small enough to print small stuff. So that forces them to print outside the house, a lot of these other rooms. Uh, if you put yourself inside a living room and try and print let's, a, a big living room, let's say 18, 20 feet square, uh, they can do that, but they can't get out of the house now. Most doors uh, for homes are a three foot entryway door a four foot entryway door would be a, a, a real big entryway door. You can't drive it down the hallway. Uh, well, we got tracks we can set up easy. Yeah, you got tracks you can set up fast, but you have to move your printer 15 times. So this, for example, this, this makes all other types of construction. The other printers you can't do the basements. Um, okay, can't get a printer on the outside of this. So let's talk about uh, Buffalo. Buffalo, before you can even start printing, you gotta build yourself a sidewalk on both sides. Something to lay the horizontal supports down on both sides of the building. And uh, then you gotta let that cure before you can start setting up your structure. Time is money. So, or let's talk about Kobod. Kobod, big old four foot by four foot footings. They weigh four tons. We would have to over excavate all of this here. Okay, for an example, this would be a very costly dig in the first place. They tried to get the walls as close to the uh, dig as possible. But if I got a sidewalk out there, all that dirt on the other side of this thing for four or five feet that way and that way and this way would have to be excavated. What do you do with all this dirt? Digging it out of a hole is one thing. Then you got dirt management. How are you gonna move all that dirt around so, Kobot, you'd have four or five feet more this way, five feet more that way, and this way. You're talking material that's gonna have to be excavated. Ours, okay, one leg, 12 inches. Okay, you only have to be 12 inches, and you only have to be 12 inches in each corner. The only thing that comes down into the print plane is one Z. If you, when you buy a printer, you want it to be able to print a myriad of different types of prints. You don't want to have to change the design of the house to accommodate a printer. Almost all of them, unless the plan was custom done for the printer itself, you're printing a traditional home, you'd be printing the majority of that home from the outside. You wouldn't even be able to print it with the printer on the inside, which is what people think.